Story time. When I was in high school I had this really good friend named Amber. I would always spend time at her house, and she would always come over to my house. Then in the beginning of our junior year, everything started to get really weird. Amber's mom started being really mean to me, and I had no idea why, or what I did. On the other hand, Amber's dad was really nice to me, kind of too nice, and it made me feel gross. He would always ask for hugs, and one time he bought me a bracelet for no reason at all. Everything was all weird, and made me super uncomfortable, so I decided to just stay away from Amber's house. By the middle of our junior year Amber's parents were divorced and her mom moved out. I thought that meant I could go to her house again hoping it would be less weird. I couldn't have been more wrong and it almost cost me everything. The first time I went Amber's dad kept telling me how much he missed me and he hugged me over and over again. I was still really grossed out but I missed hanging out with Amber so when she asked, I agreed to spend the night. The next morning when I was packing my things up, I noticed some of my dirty personal stuff was missing. Yeah it's exactly what you're thinking. I thought the worst right away but I didn't want to believe it so I pushed it out of my mind. About a week later I got a text from Amber saying she wanted me to come over and hang out. When I got to her house, her dad opened the door. I knew it was weird because Amber would always meet me outside since like middle school. I almost went inside but my phone went off and what I saw when I looked at the screen made my blood run cold. It was Amber asking me what I was doing that night. When I looked up from my phone Amber's dad had this look in his eyes that scared the shite out of me. Something inside was screaming for me to run but I knew not to turn my back to him. I backed away and as soon as there was enough distance between us. I ran all the way home. After that Amber and I drifted apart and went our separate ways after graduation. Today I turned on the TV and there was Amber's dad staring back at me. He had the same look in his eyes that made me sick to my stomach. I tried to pay attention but everything started to sound really far away. Amber's dad had 32 victims. They all looked like me.